Hira zako kwangu bwana ya miku Kama manu kato mbele ya watesi wangu Ninanga Na kaka madhahabu Wanao na wifu Kwa maku umeni tendea Imeni bidi leo Ni imba sifa zako kwa kuwa wewe ni wema kwangu Ebeneza Emanueli Jina lako litukuzwe Umeni tendea maku Emanueli Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Emanueli Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Umekuwa mwema kwangu Ninao ujasiri Yali yo inu kama kumu kwangu Umekuwa na misi kuzote Mungu wangu Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Emanueli Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Umekuwa mwema kwangu Ninao ujasiri Yali yo inu kama kumu kwangu Umekuwa na misi kuzote Mungu wangu Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Umekuwa mwema kwangu Ninao ujasiri Yaliyo inu kama kumu kwangu Umekuwa na misi kuzote Mungu wangu Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Emanueli Na kwa mini kila wakati Umekuwa mwema kwangu Sinao ujasiri Yaliyo inu kama kumu kwangu Umekuwa na misi kuzote Mungu wangu Tu 
I want to sincerely thank you because this Lord, if we try to compare their discipline with those ones of other Lords which we have been having here, they prove to come from families where there are instructions back at home. They have not been disturbing us. The exam that is just ahead of us is just a normal exam like the ones we've been doing here. The difference between KCSC and these other exams candidates is the attention the government gives the exam and the mode of administration. That is it being administered while schools are closed. But the questions in that question paper are the same. So if you've been preparing, you've been revising, I believe success is on your side. And I still want to encourage you candidates that as you Forge ahead, read as if you have never read before. Read as if it is your final time, so that you may get that C plus and above and join the university. Uh, God is good, and uh, all the times. Uh, I have asked for permission to say something before Pastor prays. Uh, I want to appreciate the form for A's who are committed into improving our chapel. Uh, as Rongo Station, form for S, thank you. As Rongo Station, we have also been concerned with uh, our place of worship, and we have also brought something for the improvement of this chapel. Uh, the BOM chair is the treasurer. Uh, our, station, our God and our Creator, Father who lives above. It's another wonderful time that we present ourselves before you. As we present the sacrifice that your people have done, they have given you their offerings just to tell you that uh, they love you. That's why they could not afford to come for blessings without anything in their hands. Not because you are confined to be only bless us when we give, but it's because you always give us so we reciprocate. So King of Kings, bless the girls and their teachers, the entire team of Yugo Gango, as you receive their offerings as that offering with sweet aroma. May this be a culture because it's a way of demonstrating their love towards you. We also appreciate the class that has given semen, bags of semen for the improvement of this facility that is hosting us today. We also bless the young girls for doing that. That's a sign that they love you, 
and they know that those who love you also give towards your project. We appreciate the Rogo Station for giving us good money and saying that they will add. We will keep on supporting this facility. We even expect to have a big collection in the time coming when we will all assemble here to participate and make sure that the place is improved. May you bless all of us and even those who are meditating and talking to themselves on what to do that time. May you be with them. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I
that it is also very nice to have occasions like this. I have seen some stress relievers uh, when uh, our students will uh, would, would walk around and dance a bit. I think it's also uh, very nice to see teachers relax. Uh, that's a very good environment. Uh, seemingly there should be a dancing competition for this brother to Wajakoya. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have been blessed. Uh, let me also, in my uh, capacity as the outgoing station director, thank our president for coming to grace our occasion and to bless our students. We are looking forward to great results, and I believe we'll come back and dance now uh, in the field there, rejoicing for the very good grades that we're going to find at the end of our meeting. Dear parents, thank you so much for coming. Our choir, thank you for blessing our meeting. Uh, I want us to read one verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen? Amen. I can do all things through Christ My friend and I are currently reading this book. Uh, this book is entitled Only the Brave Triumph. Uh, anybody seen this title? Only the Brave Triumph. And uh, I have loved uh, what is written in this book uh, to remind us that uh, uh, victory and success is not for the coward. Victory and success is for the brave. Now those who are brave are those who are able to go on trying. They are those who are able to defy all odds and put their best foot forward to ensure that they achieve their goals. Uh, this morning I had this quote from this book said by somebody by the name Oscar, and Oscar says, you are not disabled by disabilities you have. You are enabled by the abilities you have. Amen? You are not disabled by the disabilities you have, but you are enabled by the abilities you have. Now when you focus on your disabilities, then you are disabled and you can relax, you can resign and say, I am not going to give it a trial because of my disabilities. Thus, you will have a lot of excuses uh, to prevent you from doing. But when you think of the abilities you have, then you are enabled. You are able to put an uh, effort using the abilities you have to ensure that you get what you have. And he defied all odds and went to run, and he raced and he became the winner. Therefore, after that he said, There are many young people who have both legs, but their ability to dream is amputated. Uh, now maybe I'll be finishing from that point, that there are many young people who have both legs, but their ability to dream uh, is amputated. Now, that means they have two legs. They may have two hands. They may have both eyes. They may have both ears. But they would be lame in one point that the ability to dream is amputated. So, so when they can't dream, even though they may have two legs, they can't run. Because their dream of competing in an athletics is not there, it's, it's limping. So one thing which will make you go high is when you recognize your abilities and uh, realize that the abilities can enable you go to very great heights. Now it is when you realize that you have the ability to dream, the ability to dream. When you dream, you are able to realize your dream. Now, what people have achieved at one point began from a dream. No 
one has attained great heights just waking up to find that he's already there. But there was some dream that he caught, there was some vision that he or she caught, and when he or she puts in the effort, the dreams are actualized. So you can fly even to great heights. Now somebody says that the world is full of uh, dreamers. Now those who just dream, but they don't achieve. But how we wish we would have a world full of achievers. Those who are able to dream and make sure that their dreams come true. And their dreams can come true when they realize that they have abilities to help them rise over their disabilities. Now, the person who writes the book of Philippians is called Paul. Now, just the other day, I was running through the book of Acts, and I appreciated something about Paul, that Paul would not be coward. Um, whenever you would find Paul, you will find him committed in his mission. Now, you find, it in a, you find him in a gathering like this, Paul would rise to speak about Jesus Christ who is risen. Now you find Paul in the ship, when the ship is wrecking, you would find Paul still encouraging people that the God we serve has assured us that no one will lose his life though the ship may break. Now you find Paul in the prison, where you would think that Paul would, 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 be, would be sorry for what he has done would pity himself that the message of the cross is taking him into the prison, but you find Paul in the prison, Paul is preaching about the Christ. You find Paul before the son of Hedrin, he is called to testify of what he is talking about, and Paul is able to speak to the king so much that the king would say that Paul, uh, too much reading is driving you crazy. Now he realized that wherever he was, there was one point that he was following and he would be focused about that. No matter the situation and the circumstance and place he finds himself in, he will not miss his point that I am preaching the message of the risen Savior. But yes, as if you. No wonder he says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, that I can do all things. Now, dear students, uh, you can do all things. Now, dear parents, you can do all things. Dear teachers, we can do all things. Nothing is impossible. Somebody writes and says that impossible is nonsense to a fool. Now, impossible is nonsense. It is only the word of the fool. But those who have eyes to see, those who have mind to think, know that there is no vocabulary for impossible. All things are possible to them who commit themselves into doing. Praise God. Now let me pray with the students that you can do all things. Dear candidates, as we commit you to the hands of the Lord today, you can do all things. You can attempt all questions through Christ who strengthens us. And because our ability is not from without, but our ability is from within, that is Christ that drives us Christ has never failed. Christ will never fail. Christ is not limited in any way. So anyone who surrenders to the possibilities that are given by Christ himself can say, surely I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen? May that be the dream of our dear candidates. As you begin from Form 1, Form 2, Form 3, Form 4, that the spirit is, I can do all things. When you think you can, you surely can. Uh, Sostin Mufune talks about this possibility and he says that when you, when, you, when you listen to a train going up the mountain, climbing, then the sound that comes out is, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And when the train goes down the slope, the sound changes, and the train now, the sound you'll hear is, I thought I could. I thought I could. Anybody thinks you can? Any student thinks you can? Any candidate thinks you can? Anyone who thinks you can? Now you can come back and sing this song, I thought I could when we come to celebrate. 
what you shall have achieved. Dear candidates, yeah, I think you can, as we pray for you today, and next year we'll come and say we thought we could when we send you to the university. Amen? All other uh, students, as you have come to Oyugyogango Girls Secondary School, may you have this spirit and sing it along the way every day, every time. I think I can, I think I can. At the end of every year, we will sing this song, I thought I could, because we shall have achieved. Any parent, just commit yourself. I know you didn't know that you will take your child, your daughter, up to Form 4. When you began Form 1, you would say, where will I get money to take my daughter through this education? And now I know you can sing, I thought I could. It has been a long journey, but God has rewarded it. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless our teachers who committed to teaching these dear students that we will sing again that we gave our best, we thought we'll make it, and you shall have made it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let's rise and pray. Uh, am I going ahead of the game? Or I can pray. But now allow me to ask Pastor Helen, who has never prayed for us, to pray as we close. Uh, in the spirit that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Gracious, loving Father in heaven, thank you so much for giving us time to be here as thy children. We want to thank you for all that we've heard since morning. And Father in heaven, give us strength to do more and more. And Father in heaven, I want to commit all the form falls into your able eyes. Father, they've been struggling all along to make both ends meet. And dear Heavenly Father, they are soon starting their exams. Father, give them knowledge and wisdom that comes from you. Let all be done according to thy will. Want you, Father, to bless our teachers. They've been struggling all day long to make both ends meet. Remember them in a very special way. I want to commit our sister, the principal, into your able hand. Father, give her wisdom and knowledge to guide this school. And even the parents who have been struggling to pay school fee for their daughters, Father, bless them. As we'll be leaving this place, traveling back, Father, give us journey mercies. Remember us when you will be coming for the second time. For we pray, believing and trusting in your holy name, Jesus Christ, and let us say, Amen. 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 Jabu, anaifanya mambo maku mashani mwetu Mungu wa hajabu Anaifanya mambo maku mashani mwetu Yeye ye, ni ebeneza